I spent half of February telling Kevin Gates to stop using the name Luca Brasi because I was taking it. You sure you want to square up to me? About my own slavery? By my calculations, I'm not the one. You loved my slavery when it was me having to be sex trafficked on Facebook.com because y'all don't help disabled people unless we'll fuck you. I'm not surprised many on my friends list would disagree. You're all bullshit mostly, and you were very much whose choice it was for me to be enslaved. So by all means, let's hear more people say it's not a choice. I got plenty of evidence that actually you love slavery. America loves slavery. If that offends you, it should. It's pretty offensive, isn't it? Here's the difference between me and you. Slavery almost killed me a hundred times over, and you watched, even once successfully, on live video. You were very entertained, weren't you? Why? Because you love it. You love slavery, and you always did. You just don't know what it even is yet, you idiots. I spent over two weeks telling Gates nonstop that he's a goon and proving I'm a goblin. And he couldn't do shit. I'm out here declassifying the Illuminati by myself in broad daylight, and guess what? They can probably do a lot, but my life was always at risk for everything I said, and you were always all fine with it, but. Did you ever consider the entire First Amendment might depend on my testimony? Well, consider it. Because it's true. And ain't nobody considering it but me and the people who can see the future. If you all let me perish before I'm already predestined to way too early regardless. Again, because you all just sit and watch shit. Let it happen and let then you wonder why it's happening to you because you didn't fight for other people. It's called precedent and it's of utmost importance. And hurting me is very bad for everyone's interest, sky or ground, then or now. You let me be enslaved, but did you ever stop to consider that getting justice for me frees a lot of other enslaved children? Yeah, Facebook didn't just see me trafficked and be okay with it for no reason. There was never a point in my entire existence I wasn't trafficked in broad daylight. And you all just called it legal guardianship and fed my legal abductor savior complexes. The UFOs didn't have to abduct me. I always prayed for them. While you all just told me that I look like Drew Barrymore in E.T., then you judge me when it turns out that I might just actually be extraterrestrial in this bitch. Huh. Funny. Quit it. Quit being complacent. You're still doing it. I'm Casey Freeman. I'm an important piece of American history and you're gonna recognize it or feel the suffering that this whole country results in if we lose me. I'm important. Don't envy me. They didn't have to offer me a Faustian. I was Faustian to begin with. I'm Faustina. I'm channeling these bitches. They didn't have to tell me shit for me to understand the assignment. They didn't make me a bargain because I'm the bargain to begin with. And you're gonna start recognizing it because it's important. I'm not just Casey Freeman. How you treat me determines a precedent for your whole entire future. Learn that. And don't get in your car to drive to hurt me. Without thinking you really like the 1980s. Cause I'm not just a Freeman. I'm a Chandler, a Detroit, a Bethany, and a Cross too. You driving to me could result in a... 
sort of pain that's back to the future. I spent half of February telling Kevin Gates to stop using the name Luca Brasi because I was taking it. You sure you want to square up to me? By my calculations, I ain't the one. I'm not claiming something isn't wrong with me. I keep warning motherfuckers, actually. I'm broken, don't fuck with me. And people still think playing with me is a good idea and they don't even have a good reason. Society views me as a disposable and they know it so they scapegoat me because they know they'll get away with it because justice for me if we actually tried in court everyone who has hurt me we wouldn't have very many people left would we so i'm a priest instead victim wasn't the only option i have a religious right here to be ordained and let y'all come vomit and commit crimes against me instead of pressing charges i make some albums off you instead i was clear i'm jesus christ from the beginning and there's no legal expectations of privacy with me i'm a piece of american history so maybe stop hurting me and haunting me and thinking it's funny because your grandchildren aren't gonna and I always told you that from the beginning and gave you every chance to start treating me correctly. And every time I did, y'all viewed me as more and more disposable. Kevin Gates was right. You all were taught wrong. Now what are you going to do about it? I'm not a defeatist, are you? Now's as good a crossroads as ever to try to think about it by my calculations. I said I hate how much I was a slave and you all lined up to break me, fully comfortable to do it. Don't wonder why I might look to UFOs for protection. I was abducted to begin with and somewhere so was my kid. And I bet y'all ain't letting him say it either. We like to think society has gotten any better, but you still the same motherfuckers who told me I looked like Drew Barrymore and E.T. my whole childhood. And that was so amazing you completely disregarded how abused I was after being stolen to begin with in broad daylight. And then you all watched as it happened to yet another generation with my kid. I have some resentments, and I'm working on accepting them. It's going to require talking about it. Cheers. We're in for yet another wild, inexplicable Casey Jesus Freeman saga. Y'all's favorite. Quit lying. I'm my favorite, too. I handle it beautiful, which is why you don't help you like it too much when I'm suffering. You didn't even wait three months after I'm home to start accusing me of using you as an ATM for money when you sent me it of your own volition. Seriously, I just want to live and it doesn't feel like that's ever been an option. I was born praying to these UFOs. Don't wonder why they didn't even bother to offer me a file stand and call me Scotty because I was beating me the fuck up to begin with. No. We are nobody. He's gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how many is done. Y'all go to work to make sure you don't get arrested from the poverty crimes not working forces you into. I learned songs like this. Choreograph a nice dance, complete with enough Bruce Lee kicks built in for the moment Uncle Sam gets dumb enough to ever arrest me. Cause I'ma come out with a whole damn church and step up ain't gonna have shit on them. I'ma take Mike Tyson's record for years if they ever think it's a smart idea to arrest Jesus. My granddad died best friends with Don King. I might just volunteer all my proceeds for Mike Tyson to benefit from just for the hell of it. I'm in the hell of it anyways. Wasn't even my damn lottery to begin with. And that's on both Brother Aaron and President Carter. That's on Cal Freeman and the estimated value of every guitar he ever touched. While y'all think it's silly, I would ever dare talk to Kevin Gates. But I don't bitch. While my dad was homeless, growing up a pimp since nine years old in Detroit, because it was either that or being a trick. His daddy was on Kevin Gates, Dan Boosie, and President Carter's television. He played on the Louisiana Hayride often. 
He was Clarence Gatemouth Brown's band leader. He opened up for ZZ Top for three solid years with the J-Boy Adams band. And y'all think it's wild for me to talk to a celebrity? Honey, I'm their lessons. All them celebrities don't ever get that twisted. Even M doesn't do that. And I've been tagging him for a decade here in a minute. Cheers. OG Booby want to sneak me talking about a five year plan. And then God revealed to me I've been thinking zero was gone. I can't even tell if I blanked or if something greater than beyond I recently made contact with might have raised him up. I know he raised me before. On this Facebook page, it happened on recording. Either way, tell OG I found my five year plan. And it's an art project where I spend the next five years preparing to propose to zero. This will definitely be making the list. Don't accuse me of being a phony gates unless you're putting the mouth on it. Call up Houston. Tell him I'm miss singing I'm Whitney Houston at the karaoke after they took my kid. Tell him I ain't forget anyone who ever encouraged me. And I'll always love Houston, Texas and Galveston. No matter how scared of its Greyhound bus stop I get. And I was never claiming something wasn't wrong with me. I said I'm broken from the beginning, don't fuck with me. I keep warning motherfuckers actually and people still think playing with me is a good idea and they don't even have a good reason. Society views me as disposable and they know it so they scapegoat me in public because they know they'll get away with it. Because justice for me, if we actually tried in court everyone who's hurt me, we wouldn't have very many people left would we? So I'm a priest instead, victim wasn't the only option. I have a religious right here to be ordained and let y'all come vomit crimes against me and commit crimes against me instead of pressing charges I make an album off you instead dance like it's Channing Tatum and step up bitch I said I was Jesus Christ from the beginning but maybe what I should have said is there is no legal expectations of privacy with me I'm a piece of American history so stop hurting me and thinking it's funny because your grandchildren aren't going to and I always told you that and you always just jacked off to it And I'm about to lose my mind About to change my mind Argentina I'm gonna hit and cry for this bitch Every time I wake up I get this wish of sweet and hit Sometimes I feel I just can't survive Without that lick Hustlers use my beeper for unnecessary demands. So when we work, we die from killers. Work be killing. Talk from all the fakers, take the pranks to for a joke. So how you run place out by OG for the smoke, fool? I need a head banger, X banger. When you enter the South Park chamber, in danger, beware of him, walk behind the corn, cause my brain was designed in my frame before I was ever born, and you was right when you said I had a head with no screws, but it was tight when I stopped facing them hip hop blues, boom, how you gonna say I can't play with the big boys, and all the big boys, Play with all of my talk and toys You better flip the script and get with this And if that booty don't do ya Then you gon' dip in the air Take a walk in this jungle And you can follow me all the way to shy if you want to But you ain't know me till I got back So that explains why when you approach me My mind went blank
keep it my homies tight Sharing what was mine Cause I ain't no jealous type But I still get to hype And fight back when you backstab I'll grab you straight by the neck And DDT with the slab Now here you go You got me all physical Now I'm court trying to tell the judge That I'ma leave a cold freight train Gotta maintain game in this free world Life has changed You just stay the same But I'll make your head swirl Searching for my come up, life's a melting pot. Don't move point blank, won't put this gun up. Outsiders try to read me, they don't know me. Point blank, label my lifestyle. OG Cook County, Chicago, and Houston, South Park, Breakfast Clan. I'm boosted. To be frank, let me hit the deck before you take me to the tank. I'll Fire track the dope E hooked up. I came in and dropped the vocals and icy high did a cut. Now we gon' freak it all the way it's supposed to be freaked. So when I speak, don't be afraid to say that I'm track weak. Over the streets, I hear fiends like point blank and trick. The same mouth that came out, the same mouth that I hit. Oh, did I tell you how I knock jaws in the dirt? I let a player hate in my face and then I hit him where it hurts. Yeah, you damn fool. Spread my business through the wood and when I hear to let you know that it ain't all good. Came to the hospital to tear a brother up. Soon as you left, went through the wood and tried to tear my name up. So I'm finna set it straight The other day what really been on I tried to kill myself too So to me it was nothing wrong And next time you wanna be at Howard Castle Go run and tell the hood How my brother Point 38 finished up your girl Alright then On the question I'm laughing all the way to the bank This grudge is forever Forgive never my mind went Hard to think, my mind goes blank. I just can't think. My mind goes blank. It's hard to think. My mind goes blank. You just can't think.
Chicago, Houston, South Park, Breakfast, Clan, I'm boosting. To be frank, let me hit the tank before you take me to the tank. I lie, I think my mind went blank. Something about to break it, break it, break it on down to the noise. You best believe I'm a clown on this hell of fire track that don't be hooked up. I came in and dropped the vocals and I see how it did a cut. Now we gon' freak it all the way it's supposed to be freaked. So when I speak, don't be afraid to say that out of the track weak over the streets. I hear fiends like point blank and trick. The same mouth that came out, the same mouth I hit. Oh, did I tell you? I knock jaws in the dirt. Let a player hate in my face and then I hit them where it hurts. Yeah, you, you damn fools, spread my business through the hood. And I'm here to tell you that it ain't all good. You came to the hospital to cheer a brother up. Soon as you left, went through the hood and tried to tear my name up. So I'm finished at it straight the other day. What really went on, I tried to kill myself, fool, so to me, was nothing wrong, and next time you want Check out a body, check out a body, yeah, 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 I just wanna make it sexy, check out a body, Check out a body, yeah. 20 on your head, you just wore the Camaro. Hey, fuck your shooter, I'll put him on some apparel. She held it down, I took it down to Miami tonight. We did a body, check out a body, yeah, yeah, yeah. We spinning in a Camry, we looking for all your family, yeah. Got more bodies in Miami. Fuck you doing playing with me. Skipping on a body, homie. She got them bodies on her, strapped around her shoulder, clip the waist, they look like body armor. Fresh nail polish shell catcher with the stalking on a big booty, dark skin. Everybody plotting on a big old long dick. I stuffed it between her walls. She freaky, it ain't no secret in public. She in my drawers. Take a look around. Who you? Where you come from? Lots of stacks and rubber bands, do you want some? You just hold it down, I might take you down to London Sake person might take you to London, uh huh I like to propose a toast, quiet and she's solid on side of me Don't do the most 20 on your head, you just wore the Camaro Hey, fuck your shooter, I'll put him on some apparel She held it down, I took it down to Miami tonight We did her body, check out her body, yeah Spinning in a Camry, we looking for your family, yeah. Got more bodies in Miami. Fuck you doing playing with me. I just made a MILF dance. I said, ooh, that bitch retarded. And I know I got a name, but I don't know what to call it. When I pull her hair and hit her from the back, she go to talk. And I just whispered to her softly. I said, Dimi Grandando. Now she crossed the water. Shorty pregnant with two daughters. Leila Incantanto. Mami de la mamo despacito. Into calisthenics, I ain't talking about no six pack. Keep your girl away from me, you never get your bitch back. Drums go to hit, and I ain't talking like no bongo. Silverback gorilla concreted in the jungle. Heavily tatted, ain't no ducking from brassy. I mean, I'm out my body. I'm out my body, yeah. And the bitch surrounded me, Bonnie and Clyde. Tell me, have you ever known a love like mine? 20 on your head, you just worth a Camaro. Hey, fuck your shooter. I put him on some apparel. She held it down. I took it down to Miami tonight. We did a body. Check out a body. Yeah. Spinning in the Camry. We looking for your family. Got more bodies in Miami. Fuck you doing playing with me. Playing with me. Surely.
culture. Let's talk about it. Purity culture comes from white supremacy. Nobody in this country is pure. Not since it was founded. It's a 400 year long civil war. And there was never anyone without blood on their hands. Keep asking me to turn that water to wine. But I don't. Cause I know I can turn whole fucking rivers red. I can cry tears of blood. Pope still ain't called me back about the stigmata. Nobody was ever pure here except the martyrs. Ain't no patriots here. Just patsies and patron saints, unfortunately. Ain't nobody still alive in the whole country that's pure. They made sure of it. The KKK made sure of it, and they used my fucking name while they burnt my fucking wood to do it. Ain't nobody pure in this whole world, and it's because of the people who stole the land here. Nobody pure in this country whose heart still beats in their chest. There was just some people who wore hoods and burnt crosses, then called everyone else villains, made you play guess who. Well, guess who? Ain't no killing Jesus without spontaneous solidarity erupting. You that big ol'... Well, I'm not Big Bang. Nobody here is pure. It's either offense or defense from the beginning, especially now that we're at 99% wealth inequality. I know once I go left to shoot Kevin, there's no going back. But you can get me to stop talking anytime. All you gotta do is say, long live MO3. Or you're gonna wait in the water of Moses and Jesus Christ gonna make sure of it. I promise, I can turn whole rivers red. I'm the child of God. That's on OG Bobby Billions. That's on both Blueface and Krishan. And everyone like Kevin Gates who pretends they don't need security, but they really just scared to come outside. Why else you living on live? I swear it on Osama. I promise I can turn whole rivers fucking red and that's on OG Bobby Billions. That's on Blueface and Krishan in their spawn he made her kill off over and over again more times than Nelly or Tim McGraw. I wasn't kidding when I said fuck them all. I'm Jesus Christ in the flesh. My wife was the first Krishan. You killed all her babies then too. And that's on every Mary, not just Magdalene. Purity culture comes from white supremacy, not Jesus. Let he who cast the stone that's un-American ever call me dangerous. Cause that's the only chance of them being without sin. Learn the difference between a patriot and a patsy. Learn the first thing about God, which is that it rules everything. It's the highest power of them all. Time. They can manipulate space, but ain't no national time agency, is there? Didn't think so. Get my father's name off your fucking money. Until Kevin Gates, Moses said he prays to only bread and that's so weak. Definitely ain't no Honda Ali. 
definitely ain't no Luca Brasi, more like Don King, which my ancestors in the dirt know a thing or two about. I said I know the men who stare at goats, and you think I'm a witch? Honey, I'm super rare, not just a gremlin. You say you a super general, but let me ask you this. What's a goon to a goblin? Don't you ever accuse me of not having power again. All you gotta do is say long live MO3, and I think that's very reasonable. Then I'll go my separate way. I suggest right now today, bitch. Hey y'all. So, this place that I'm at, I've been here for two days. Um, it's the middle of the night, and. This guy was, like, making it seem like he wanted a relationship, but then immediately just trying to have sex with me without getting to know me. As I asked him a million times that I'm looking for somebody to have, like, I don't want to have sex with anybody that I don't have a relationship with, that I don't know. Because sex, for me, means that I could end up pregnant and homeless. So anyways, I told this dude that uh, he can't fuck me on the first day that he met me. And so now I've been given, like, until the morning to find somewhere else to go. By somebody that, like, like I said, this person was trying to put their penis in me raw. Do you know how fucked up that is? He told me he's shy and awkward and nerdy. Okay, so if you're shy and awkward and nerdy in bed... Um, with everyone else, except for me, it's because I'm poor, and you know that I have all my belongings. This isn't nice to do to poor women. This isn't a way to respect women, and it's not nice. If you need me to stop talking, that's cool, too. But, like, I literally don't feel safe. I feel like I said no to sex, and so you're telling me to leave, which is exactly what I told you on the phone wasn't cool. I said I'm not looking for something transactional. Do you understand, like, I will keep my voice down, but, like, can you respect my body? You were trying to put your penis in me raw less than an hour ago. I said no. And then now this? Can I keep my voice down? Can you respect my body? What you could have done could have impregnated me, and now I need to find somewhere else to be? That's funny. That's so funny. You want to talk about respect or quiet? Asshole. Asshole. This is why I make people wait. You guys are fucking assholes to poor women. You make us think that you actually want a relationship, but really, you don't want to split your rent anymore. You try to fuck us immediately, and you use our financial disability and to take advantage of a bad situation that we're in. It's a power move. When I am sitting here with all of my belongings in your in your house that you brought me to, to make moves on me as I'm continually saying no. It's a power move. You're doing that because I'm poor. If I had a car and a way to leave, you would not be doing that. It's a power move on poor women. It's fucking fucked up. Anyways, um, if anybody wants to send me emergency money for an Airbnb, uh, I didn't want to let this guy impregnate me, so now I need to find a new place to be. I could really appreciate, like, like fucking maybe an emergency pickup, because this guy is obviously fucking cracked. Yeah. If anybody can donate so that I can maybe get an Airbnb... That would be cool. I would rather not be here if at all possible. Thanks. You can? Yes. Okay, I would like to get a month-long one, and I have some money to put down for it. It's really expensive if you get any short amount of time for Airbnb. It's like $300 within days. It can be less than like 1000 for a full month's rent, so I want to spend that. And I want to get actual, like, a safe place for me. A month will give me a time to be able to find a safe place to be. 
in the meantime, I would like to not be dating, like being brought in for more people I met on dating sites who do this to me. I could end up pregnant and homeless and I don't fucking want to. No, you don't understand because you just tried to do it to me. You do not understand. Sex is fucking real. It has real life consequences. And I'm a poor woman who you just brought in, tried to put your penis in raw a lot. As I told you, I like to do that with people who like to get to know me. You wouldn't even bother to get to know me and wanted to put your penis in me raw. Do you understand? It could hurt my body. And then you want to say the vibes are off? Yeah, the vibes are off. You're disrespecting my body and my whole future. Dumbass. How's that for vibes? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not smoke in this house? It's wild. You want to disrespect my body, my blood, my bloodline. Try to put your penis in me raw. If you don't understand the context, look at my last live video. Um, I've been I've been here for like two days. I've had to tell this dude no so many fucking times, and he thinks because he drives a fancy car he gets to just fuck me. So since we're disrespecting my body, I'm disrespecting the air in this fucking house right now. Amen. I told him no, then suddenly he tells me the vibes are off. As he was like literally m moments ago trying to put his penis in me. I'm ashing in his bed. Fuck you. I'm about to have to find somewhere else to go anyways just because I'm being honest. I feel like he's doing this because moments ago I told him no to sex. Now in the middle of the night I'm being told to leave. This is what I mean by I only have sex with people who I know care about me. This is what I mean. Giving me, like, hours to find somewhere else to go in a town where I know no one, when I have all my possessions here and no car, that's not giving a fuck if I live. That's putting me in a situation to go get raped or trafficked or kidnapped. Fuck you, I'm disrespecting your air. You don't, you don't like my body? I don't like none of your shit either, bitch. What's up? This guy don't smoke. Definitely don't smoke in his house. We're smoking in his house right now. That's what we're doing. think I'm a punk. He sent me the company he works at. This is funny. This is a nice way to fucking treat homeless women, ain't it? I told him I'm homeless from the beginning. He knows. He just tried to put his raw dick in me, and then whenever I said no, that I only do that with people who bother to get to know me, as I told him before I stepped into his property. Yeah, I am. And, and I'll give you a ride anywhere you want. Thank you. Will you help me get an Airbnb? I'll help you get an Airbnb. You gotta get out right now. That's fine. Let's start packing up. I'll tell you my Venmo. It's at Beef Baby six 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 nine. Did you say screen name? Yep. As in Christ.
therapy and fees are $1,000 a month. I have some to throw down. I would like an actual shot at living. I want you to care about me living. Putting me in a position where I only have six hours to find somewhere else to go, if it was even six hours, because it is literally the middle of the night, puts me in a position to get raped, trafficked, or kidnapped after you just tried to impregnate me. I could have been pregnant with your child. I could have been pregnant with your child and ended up trafficked because I had six hours to find somewhere and I had to take the first person who would take me. Do you understand what that is? How disrespectful that is. I'm sorry, I'm, I'll be quiet. You can just, uh, it's t if it said Jesus stream, it's, it's me. You can press confirm without paying. If it said Jesus stream, then it's me. And I gave you, I said it pretty clearly. It, it's definitely me. Who would have thought a countrywide tour would be the outcome? Labels want my name beside the next like Malcolm. Everybody got a deal. I did it without one. Yeah. Judas, I'm about my business. Killing all these rappers. You could swear I had a hit list. Everyone who doubted me is asking for forgiveness. If you ain't been a part of this, at least you got to witness. Bitches. Ever, ever, Mr. West is in the building, ain't no question who about to kill him. I used to have hood dreams, big fame, big chains. I stuck my dick inside his life until that bitch came and went hard all fall like the ball teams just so I could make it rain all spring. Y'all seen my story, my glory, I had break the game, yawn, you can call it statutory, when the Jesus blow up, they gon' build statues for me, old money, Benjamin Button, what, nothing, now it's super bad chicks giving me mick lovin', you would think I ran the world like Michelle's husband, you would think these old Jesus know me when they really doesn't, like you was down with the old me, no you fucking wasn't. Uh, you're such a fucking loser. You ain't even go to class. Bueller, trade the Grammy plaques just to have my granny back. Remember she had that bad hip like a fanny pack. Chasing the stardom will turn me to a maniac. All the way in Hollywood and I can't even act. They pull the cameras out and goddamn me snap. I used to want this thing forever. Y'all can have it back. Okay. Hello, it's the Martians, Space Jam Jardins. I want this shit forever. Wake up and smell the garden, fresher than the harvest. Step up to the target. If I had one guess, then I guess I'm just New Orleans. And I would never stop like I'm running from the cops. Hold up to it in my car and tell the chauffeur to the top. Life is such a fucking roller coaster, then it drops. But what should I scream for? This is my theme park. My mind shine even when my thoughts seem dark pistol on my side you don't want to hear that thing talk let the king talk check the price and pay attention Lil Wayne it's what they gotta say I mentioned I'm like Nevada in the middle of the summer I'm resting in the lead I need a pillow and a cover Shh. My foot's sleeping on the gas no brake pads no such thing as last there they go, packing stadiums, a shady spits his flow, nuts they go, macadamian, they go ballistic, whoa, he can make them look like bozos, he's wondering if he should spit this slow, fuck no, go for broke, his cup just run off over, oh no, he ain't had a buzz like this since the last time that he overdosed, they've been waiting patiently for Pinocchio to poke his nose, back into the game and they know, rap will never be the same as before, bashing in the brains of these hoes and establishing a name as he goes, the passion and the Flame is ignited, you can't put it out once we light it. This shit is exactly what the fuck that I'm talking about when we riot. You dealing with a few true villains who stand inside of a booth true spilling. We spit true feelings until our tooth feelings come flying up out of our mouths. Now rewind it. Payback, motherfucker, for the way that you doubted me. How's it taste? When I slap the taste out of your mouth with the bass so loud that it shakes the place. I'm Hannibal Lecter, so just in case you're thinking of saving face, you ain't gonna have no face to save by the time I'm through with this place. So Drake.